All right, legends, welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Okay, so in this video, I wanna talk about the function that we created in the last video, our confirmed logged in function that we created. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to our session.php file inside of our includes folder. And let's open this up. And I wanna create another form of security. I wanna give this another test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create another function. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call this function logged in just like that and what I'm going to include in this is just our is set session user let's pull this out just like that and let's paste that just in there like that and let's go ahead and return this for this function and I'm sure you guys know what the return statement is at this time if you can spell it properly unlike me return is set session ID. We're gonna need a semicolon right there. And now let's just go ahead and use this right here instead of this for our argument. So put this function that we just created inside, our, inside uh, the parameters for this. But if not logged in, then we'll go ahead and redirect. So we just created another form of security. We just pretty much tightened up our um, session, our login, our logout, and we're gonna have to put this session.php file on more of the files inside of our root folder. Let me look at this really quick. Syntax has one too many closing parentheses right here. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video again. Make sure you guys have this code right here. This is just, you know, drop it down another uh, line. And just keep in mind that this is just pretty much implementing that we have a user that um, is being tracked through our CMS. This is more of the security. This is saying, well, if he's not logged in, then we're gonna kick him out of here. So make sure you have this correct code right here in your session.php file. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and take this function right here and put it above our header right here because we're dealing with PHP, we're dealing with output buffering. If you don't know what that is, that's when we deal with our redirect right here. If we don't have output buffering turned on, then it will not let, PHP will not let us redirect. So just for security purposes, I don't know if this will be an obstacle or not, but just to make it better safe than sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and put it above our header.php file and what you guys can do, actually I'll do it in the next video, but we need to grab this information now. We need to put it on all our faculty and login pages. So hopefully you guys have this correct code right here and just know that this is our function that stays with each individual user or admin, I apologize. And this is more of a defense mechanism to kick people out that do not have sessions. So good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, let me know if you have any questions.